you go. <laughs> I know, long time. Hey, I wanted to make a quick update. I just did a few things here in the back, just trying to get some organization going. And I'm sure most of you that run spinners, cargo vans, whatever, you try and hang your clothes on hangers back here. Every time you hit a bump, the damn things just fall off. Like, let's see here. I'm sure I got a damn hanger around right here somewhere. I know I do, because I just threw them somewhere. Yeah, damn it. Darn it. There we go. Okay, so for example, your, I don't want to give it away yet. You hang your hangers up there like that, right? Going down the road, hit some bumps. All your damn clothes are on the floor. I know, this is so simple, but this is what I came up with. Let's turn this way. Here's all my clothes. Went down and got one of those big old carabiners that have the, the padded thing on the back. You just run all your hangers right through it. Put a new hanger on. Click. These things ain't going nowhere. Bungee cord. Help keep them kind of pulled in a little bit. I uh, got some other things. Some little shelves like this. I hang up. They're basically shoe shelves. Uh, they do good for like this one here. It's all full of my my uh, my undies, my socks, my my flesh slide, my my uh, latex, my um, my uh, hooker butchering. Uh, all sorts of cool stuff in there. Um, that one does real good because these are drawers. I have this bungee cord so that if it doesn't pull out, it does pretty good. I got this one, I gotta replace it, but I keep all my propane canisters in there for uh cooking. Um, wife bought me a new uh TV. Where are you at, TV? There you are. I gotta get a good mount for that. Uh, because I also got it's a uh, it's a deck station that plugs into my cell phone. And being that I've got uh Verizon Unlimited on uh, the cell phone uh it's 95 percent of everywhere i stop i have literally next to perfect internet so now i can plug that right into my phone and watch anything i could watch on my phone on a killer 22 inch tv it's awesome no more you know trying to find wi-fi which i never did anyways because my phone the unlimited plan uh now it's not good if you need to stream like if you need to make a, a hotspot with your phone, you're limited on that. So, like, if you have one of those uh, uh, Google Chrome things where you need a Wi-Fi or a hotspot and you hook that up to your Verizon Unlimited, that goes away quick. It doesn't It doesn't work for that. It will, but not as much. Um, so, I'll, I'll do a better review on that once I get this all hooked up. But uh, I'm looking for a mount that is like one ball one ball type mount that you know you can just turn it wherever you want one ball he said one ball a lot of questions on my bed see if i can't get a little bit of a better look on it right now um so pardon the mess i'm not like really prepared for y'all um so here's my bed yay can't see it there's my bed um let me get this stuff out of the way my drill let's throw that me I finally decided I'm tired of it I've had been woken up with a shooting literally right next to my van dude fell ambulance everybody cops and everybody working on the dude right by my van and that shooting happened I had to dive on the floor I stopped carrying my firearms which I'm licensed uh, to carry in most states I've done all my research I have apps and everything there's only one place I cannot go in any way and that's New York City so screw it I hate New York City anyways I'm not going to New York City anymore, but by God, I'm going to be able to protect myself. So now I've got my my uh, concealed carry and my uh, good uh, S and W nine. Uh, most the the worst states would be like California. Your firearm has to be unloaded, locked in one place or in one box, locked, and your ammo locked in a different one, and out of the driver's reach. Uh, you do that, you're safe, you're legal, but you can't carry it. Chicago. Um, Illinois, I didn't think it was quite this bad. Now, I can't carry concealed there. They don't honor my concealed weapons permit. However, you can carry in your vehicle so long as it is in a locked container. Awesome. You don't even have to have it unloaded like you do in California. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Not that it's going to do you any good if somebody wants to carjack you or something. Then you're going to just have to get them with your pure ugliness. I'll always win. So anyway, that out of the way. For now, just picked up couple of these from the dollar store and that's what I installed up there that my jacket's hanging from and another jacket and that way it's a lot easier getting in and out when it's cold I can just grab it from right there I don't have to throw a wet jacket on my bed I don't have to hang it in back here where I have to get out in the rain or the cold 
and get it they're good up there five of them for a dollar from the dollar store so that's awesome okay um let's put you guys down basically here's how it works wish i could turn this damn camera around uh, okay so got these straps <laughs> got these uh this side might work better got these straps most of you guys have seen them i just hook them up to the top and understand i'm i'm a good 320 <laughs> stop it okay I'm trying, but, um, and yeah, I do still go to the gym when I can. Uh, last time I was home, rolled my ankle, then tore, uh, what the hell you call it on my knee. So I'm jacked there. Either way, those go down to the bottom on four sides. I can adjust this thing up to where as long as the cargo is no long, no higher than 36 inches, I can still sleep above my cargo. If I'm parked in a lot that's like at a 45 degree angle. I can adjust this thing each and every corner however I want. I've only had one of these straps in almost two years break on me. And that was a really cheap strap. Each one of these straps are rated for what? Five, six hundred pounds. So basically divide that by four. Now, what do I got for a bed? A Walmart eight inch memory foam mattress. This thing's comfortable as hell. Here's the problem a lot of people make. They cut the mattress so that it fits perfectly in here. You don't want to do that because when the door is closed, it's jammed in there. So it doesn't it doesn't really, really swing. You see that? If I open the door, it's gonna swing. Uh, it might even come out a little bit, except I've got to push this way. You can adjust it all the way up to, uh, what did, uh, oh, okay, I got a bit if I see something. Um, push this all the way forward. If you wanna have your bed all the way against the front, hell, you can move it all the way back if you want. I'm gonna show you the other side, also show you, or the underside, and also show you what I do when I'm just hanging. It's a weekend. I got nothing but time. And I want to kick it in front and watch some TV. Basically, I bring the bed and I stand it up this way, which I'm going to do right now. And uh, then it's basically a wall between the back and the front. I have a fold-out chair underneath. And that, you know what, I should just go to the front and do this, huh? Let's go to the front. Um, I don't know how I edit with this thing because uh, it's still on the phone. I've got my camera but no laptop that's really working out so we're gonna cruise up front uh it's raining and i'm full of sugar and purdiness so i don't want to melt so let's run up front oh the rain stopped also i am in Carrollton, texas it's a rainy mess out here it actually stopped since i came in here but where do they come ew gross bubba all right, ignore the mess. Let me try and crawl back here. Okay, so we're in back. This is one of the places I hang my my tablet to watch my my TV. I get the same uh, Verizon Unlimited on this. So this is how I watch all my movies now until I get my uh, my uh, Riyamba deck station hooked up, uh, which I've had hooked up when I was at home. Now, how am I going to do this so you all can see? All right, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach down. Grab underneath the bed. Here's my hand. Grab underneath the bed. Try to do this one-handed. Stand it up. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab that. Hook it over there. Hold peace. That. Now I have hooked the one from the front. You can see from the front to the back. Pull the strap, like so, and continue to push the bit up, up. Now that's, that's only one side, and yet it stands. Now, you get, don't need to see those, those, the body, uh, you won't see her there. Um, so here's the underneath. I got a piece of uh, fiberboard surrounded in two by fours all the way around, nothing in the middle, like I say. I'm 320, it supports me. Then, after trial and error, I used to have eye hooks in the wood here. Those came out. So I picked up this, uh, these bars, ran that all across, I hook the strap, where are you at? Right in there. And then, as you see, the other side, basically what I did, lifted it up, move this over here, and boom. Now I've got a wall between the front and the back. And I've got a folding chair 
right there that comes out and then I've got all this room to chill and hang out another thing if you got cargo that's gonna go all the way to the top you can drop one side all the way down bring the other side all the way up against one wall it goes all the way against one wall and saves you all the room you can take it all the way to the top however you're only gonna go to about that far where you at? about that far because of the buckles but you'll still get the bed up to about this height okay there that is basically how mine is set up all right then 10 minutes well there you go i don't usually last 10 minutes <laughs> bye